Hello everybody, this is Us House Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Not Tonight. In the previous episode, we finished off Rockfest, acquiring the last of the records, which we did hand off to Shannon, because we are now back to working at the King's Head once more, or what's left of the King's Head. And, um, <laughs> this is basically the final boss of the game, because it is a job that you have to deal with everything. Regular queue, guest queue, uh, VIPs, scan and ban, everything that you have had to deal with up until this point. Oh, tickets. Is condensed down into this one job. Mm -hmm. So, I booked the ferry. Mm -hmm. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. Opening up the king's head in front. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. Just need to keep this place going till the end of the week. Mm -hmm. Build up funds. Get out before the text man asks for his cut. You've done right by me, number one, one, two. I know what that what they say about you, Lot. Well, I've even said it. But you didn't even blink when I asked for your help. If I can be half the enlightened Englishman you are, Euro. Dave, I'm from. Shush, number one, one, two. I get it now. It doesn't matter. I'll do right by you, if I can. Let's kick some ass tonight, okay? I mean, much of an idiot as he's been, he has been one of the only bosses, well, one of the few bosses to show us true kindness. Again, even if he's an idiot about it. Anyways, Scooby Quacks is our password for tonight. And we only gotta get eight people in, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Hell, half of those can be guests and... Another quarter can be VIPs. Of course, you know that mean lo what low numbers means. It means that um, gonna be a lot of people who can't come in. This guy. Dude, you don't earn enough to even bribe me to get in here. Oh, doesn't even matter what's in your pocket. No. line will be better. Nope. Mark Fishback. Seriously? Three years? No, your friend cannot persuade me. Finally, somebody who can come in. Well, from the main queue. No, and I don't care. We've hit the goal. Mark Raider, or Max Raider. Eh, you're not coming in, Grimer. Oh, 
No. And yep, finally. Yeah, like I said, you see low numbers. It's always gonna mean lots of people who can't come. More jobs to go. Break, break, the ship. You did trade in. Bonjour, mes amis. Hey, what? Teaching myself some French. Got this audio book and all. Don't want them fellas thinking I'm some uncultured roast beef. Oh, I don't think you're gonna have trouble with that. I mean, they're gonna think it no matter what. Surprised I didn't get a message from... Shannon. Alright, what's the news? Preparations are underway for the first anniversary of Britain alone. Tickets are already on sale to loyal members of the party, with prices beginning at a mere £5,000 for a chair on the grounds. Higher value donors will get to speak to Simon Tavner himself, and the king will be there too. Show your loyalty. Donate today. Right. Anyways, back to the king's head. Hey mate, glad to have you here for the end. When I get to France, I won't need that. No more lassie, more like lassiers faire. Am I right? Lasse faire, as it should be pronounced. Meow. Right. Dave for my Larna. Right. Well, now that we got that, we just have to wait for Harrison Pace to show up so we can give it to him. That one's on me. Dodsworth, no contraband. Come on in. Oh, hey, there he is. Let me just take care of her. Aren't you Lassie from the movie with that washed up actor? You speak of I, Harrison Pace. Who? Uh, down, Lassie. Good dog. Here, I have something for you. How did you know I needed that? Been, I've been doing this for a while. My dear lassie, how beautiful she was. Only I could be reunited with my one true love. She's literally trundling behind you. Alas, the embalming does not catch the beauty like this here reproduction. This will change my life. No more bar tours, no more wasted time. My creative juices are flowing. Although a little drink it would certainly help moisten the gullet. Yeah, go for it. Go on in. Your human can go too. 
I, Harrison Pace, hate the Great Unwashed. Okay. And that is the last of the allies we need on our side. No, your friend can't persuade me. Jim. No by water. Yep, 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 yep. All good. already hit my quota, I guess you could call it. Not on the list. Good, finally, someone else who can come in. Nope. Get to see what she had in her pocket. Uh. Ha ha, didn't quite make it. Not that it really matters at this point. You know, something I'm curious about, but what the heck are those piles of red stuff off to the <laughs> side? Another good ship there? It is number 112. from Harrison Pate. Plus 50 to your social credit score. Nice. Harrison Pate's here. Thank you for reuniting me with Lassie. I'm giving up the nightlife. Opening up a dog sanctuary. I still would have liked that. Listen, I heard about the predicament you're in. I've used my connection to boost your, boost your social credit score. Good luck, friend. I mean, I didn't need it, but thank you. Alrighty then. Last real job. Can we even... Yeah, we could skip work, but you know what? I'm not gonna do Dave Dirty like that. Last job. That is actually going to give us a challenge. And if you looked at it, we only need to get six people in, which means... Yeah. Hey, mate. Glad to have you here for the end. Did that already. Dave's a knobber. Don't remember that one. Oh, and don't worry if this at this point your health is getting low, because you're gonna get plenty of days to rest. Pretty sure they put that in for 
anyone who was unable for whatever reason to get all of the furniture wouldn't know why. Nope, get lost. No ticket, no entry. Someone who can enter. Got the guest list done. Ah, oh, shoot. hit all the goals, so I'm just going to take my time with this. Good. No ticket, no entry. Long time since I've missed the hologram. Okay, now I need to extra take my time. Because I am not failing on the very last one. Could have come in. Oh well. Another good chip there. Shift. Latest number one one two. And what the fine we still made bank. Should be everything. Jeez, we might actually be. Well, shouldn't say that. 
Oi, oi, number 112. I've come to say goodbye, my old mucker. Off to France. Bloody typical. They're welcoming migrants from the UK. And they won the World Cup. Still, if you can't beat them, join them. You should think about coming, Euro. You've done your bit here. Go home. For the last time I'm from. Anyway, is that my taxi? Au revoir, Euro. Or as they say in France, au revoir, Dave. Yeah, bye. Like I said, he means well, he's just an idiot. No work today. Which means we regain our health. Number 112. The wall is complete. Get to London. And don't mess it up. Okay. Crime. After months of terrorist threats, London stands protected. Prime Minister Tavner was on site to cut the ribbon of the newly rechristened Thames flood barrier and mark the completion of the London Wall. This fortification of the capital has been deemed essential to keep the growing Euro threat from our capital and ensure a safe sanctuary for business in these dangerous times. Right. Well, let's see how long this one takes. Actually, I might just skip over it. Don't sneak up on me like that. I... Haven't you heard? The security alert is now double indigo plus. Double indigo plus. And that's bad. But it doesn't sound great, does it? Well, alert number 112, if you don't survive, well, we'll send a card to your next of kin. And the bill for any outstanding decks you may have to the state. No, no need to thank me, number 112. Your hard work out there will be more than sufficient. Alright, may as well show off the wall and... Then we'll skip over. Yep. Complete with gun emplacements. Alright, I'll see you guys after this. Alright, job is done. Let me just authorize your bonus and there. You survived. I thought I had gunfire out there. Oh, awkward. I already filled out this condolence card. Wait, it's okay. I haven't filled in the date. I'll just save it for later. Gee, thanks. <sighs> Alright, someone from Texter. Number 112, you keep surprising me. The wall is complete. Get to London. And don't mess it up. The hell? Ever told you how much I like what you've done with this place, number 112? No. Jolly good. Right, to business. Toba Bowls tomorrow. You know the drill. You're still here. That means you know what side your bread is buttered. As always, you'll be representing Jupe security out there. So, Jupe to it. I don't get it. You will, my precious little Golonka. It's a Polish dish. It's a pig and stuff. What? My wife's into that ethnic rubbish. Mess this up, number 112? I'll be around to lock you up the next day. Okay. And another visitor. And yeah, like I said, we're getting plenty of time to rest. Agent Titmouse. You are ready. We are ready. Jupe is expecting you. You have the poison. When you see Galahad, hand him the poison. He will do the rest. It should shock Albion first into dancing to our tune. Okay. October ball. Albion first VIP ball. Let's do this.
Yikes, this place has gone down the shitter. You again? Honestly, I'm surprised you're still around. Don't you have a country to be getting back to? Never mind, you'll be gone soon enough. If you must hang around, make yourself useful. Welcome our guests, of course. Be vigilant. I don't want to see any wacky backy on the premises. Things have been tough since the last ball. This one absolutely, positively has to go swimmingly. Do you understand? Wait, I don't want to tax you too much. Just nod if you understand. Good, Euro. Now get out there and make your betters feel welcome. Well, I'll be glad when, you know, this inevitably fails. Yeesh. <sighs> yada yada. Yep, 127k a year. Whoops. Ticket. Ah, and there's the man of the hour. Comrade, let's take a quick look through the rules. It is I, Galahad of the Resistance. Usual ID stuff. You have the poison. Tickets. Social card. Doesn't say anything about not letting any euros in. Bit of an oversight on their part. I guess they never expected any to try. Aha! I shall add this to the politician's soup. Well done, Agent Titmouse. Good luck. Go on, then. Comrade. Obliged. Viva la resistance! Maybe don't shout that out loud. Just saying. That's all that taken care of. Can I? Shoot, I forgot to turn it back off. Well, portrait doesn't match. Oh, that's fine. Money doesn't matter anymore at this point. And honestly, I'm just gonna skip the rest of this. There's nothing else to really see from it, besides the talk with Galahad. All right, job's done. Your agreed bonus, as far as I can tell, you probably earned it. Oh dear, you're all sweaty and uncouth. No wonder the guests were complaining. You told me why should some lazy smelly euro bum be ordering us around. I defended your honor, of course. Said you were barely smelly at all. I see I was mistaken. Well, live and learn. Alrighty then, that's that. Hipster. Number one, one, two, I did it. The bull was a success. My future as assistant to the junior minister of internal security is a given. You've been a useful idiot. Idiot. I'm almost... I'll almost be sad when you go. I don't count on it. Food poisoning blamed. Venue change expected. Albion first prime minister Simon Tabner has called for tighter security after yesterday's ball was affected by a food poisoning epidemic. 
Deltel kitchen ran by Euros was suspected of foul play. This is the reason we built the wall. The wall will provide an impenetrable protection against Euro terrorists. And the one year celebrations of Albion First shall be safe within Sanctuary London. Right. I know we're out of time, but I'm going to keep going. Because we're just about done with the story. But we're not going to be done with not tonight just yet. Agent Titmouse, congratulations. Did you see the news? Albion First is in disarray. They, already they plan to move their next ball inside the London Wall. That means we know for sure where their hired bomber will attack. You have delivered when your country needed you most. What do I do now? Wait to hear from us. The usual then? Yes, but with a sense of deserved pride. Alright. Albion first New Year's Eve party moved. Great gather to celebrate Britain alone. TV star Harrison Pace sets up dog shelter. Schoolgirl sets up School of Rock. NHH, NHS privatization complete. Food poisoning, why you should be scared. Two months later, winter. European citizen relocation block C, Yeovil, Somerset. December 29th, 2018. Twelve months in limbo. What now? New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve Monday, Albion first ball. Yeah, health. Yeah, that's fine. Agent Titmouse. Titmouse, it is time. The New Year's Ball. Scorpion has warned us. This is the big one. The identikit you have. It will allow you to identify the bomber. Bomb what? The bomber responsible for the King's Head. He's planning another false flag operation. What? Albion First intends to blow up their own ball and blame it on Euros. Scorpion has been supplying you with clues. The identikit is the key. Use it to identify the bomber and give them this VIP token. It's a tracker. Give it to the bomber. You want me to work a job where a bomb is set to go off? If we identify the bomber, we can minimize casualties. Right now, it's the best we can do. Alright. Ah, number 112. What a sight for sore eyes. New Year's Eve. What a wonderful year. Albion first winning the election. The rise of dupe security. And you Euros finally put in your place. You're nearly done. One more job and you can sling your bloody hook. Don't be late. Okay. And don't wear any of those fancy clothes. We're the standard issue, Euro Yags. Don't embarrass me. Okay. Yeah, back to the default clothing. Alright, full health. Bouncer, New Year's Eve ball. This is gonna be easy. It's the same ball that we did at the very, very beginning of the game. All the way full back to, well, the very beginning. But this time, we know what we're doing. Ah, the Euro Bouncer graces us with their presence. No rush. New Year's Eve Ball is only the most important event of the year. Well, get your things. Choppy chop, no worky, no money. Understood. Ahem. Understood, sir. Alright, just a ticket, day and stamp. That's all we need. Let's get the identikit out so that we'll know the bomber when we see them. Ticket holders only. No ticket, no entry. Ah, 
I think I see them now. Yep, everything about them matches. The jacket, the hat, the necklace, the pants. Here you go, sir. And come on in. See if we can at least get to the pass before the, you know, bomb goes off. There we go. Explosion at Albion First Ball. Who is responsible for bombing? Minor casualties due to senior figures' late arrival. How convenient. Bomber Bouncer trial begins tomorrow. Final strike by Euro Terrorists. Was Resistance responsible? One day later, New Year's Day, Royal Courts of Justice, London, January 1st, 2019. This Euro stands accused of being an accessory to the Albion first bombing. With no firm evidence and hearing the defendant's plea of conspiracy, we must consider their character. Uh, please call the witnesses to the stand. Number 112 was most generous. Despite needing money, they made sure I got my Viklav's charity fund. Yep, and how you acted to the characters that I brought up being, you know, allies to you will determine how you, uh, or how you get, how things turn out here. Hey, hey, number 112 is cool. Always gave me stuff to go away. My best neighbor friend recovered my disco dancing medal. My savior, number 112, freed me from the clutches of a blackmailer. This is ridiculous. Number 112 found my ring for me. He's a top bloke. Agent Titmouse is the pride of the resistance. Nothing too small, nothing too big. Ooh. I, Harrison Pace, I know how to act. The kindness of number 112 is no act. My lawyer says I should thank number 112 for helping me break my addiction. I won't. Number 112 worked hard. They contributed well above expectations and paid all relevant taxes. Financial records show at least most of their money was earned honestly. Yet, no matter what you do, for some reason he always acts as if you purchased the illegal rhino head. They ignored the temptation of buying an illegal teddy bear. They also took great pleasure in denying Europeans access to central London. I don't get why that's bad for us. They wore appropriate clothing to jobs. They kept the social credit high throughout January. They kept their social credit high through drought July. They kept their social credit high throughout October. And thank you, we have all the evidence. And the phone lines for the People's Vote are now closed. As a certified good Euro, we will investigate your accusations of Albion first. Happy? A court dismissed. I'm British. I'm as British as any of you bastards. In light of the Euro's character, the allegations against the government will be investigated. A moment. Officer Jupe, did you say? Of Jupe Security? Yes, sir. Proud to serve, sir. I see. Yet our Mr. Galahad claims to have visited your office from an address on a pen, apparently. And what did he find there? Hmm? Cheap, Swedish, 
furniture. In total violation of current import rules. No, please. I was desperate. You were so affordable. Hey, Liv, get this flat pack loving miscreant out of my sight. And strike his comments about the defendant from the record, obviously. Albion first deposed, Tavner facing allegations of conspiracy. Assistant Minister Jupe made Siberian ambassador. Harrison Pace gets new daytime talk show. Minister for Agriculture revealed as Scorpion. So proud of my daughter. Citizen relocation blocks to be closed. Yeah, it's not outright stated exactly, but it's heavily implied that the Scorpion is, uh, well, the leader of the Resistance's father. And so a dark chapter comes to an end. As the architects of Albion first rot in prison, European exiles return to their home, and the London Wall falls. All agree never to speak of this again. Boat of the Bouncer, formerly known as number 112. One final job awaits. The Not Tonight Victory Parter, with a guest list of developer reprobates to congratulate you for your hard work. Let the developers in. We're almost positive you will not abuse this power. Tempting, but no, I won't. Victory party. Let the developers in. My name, my. name and job. Richard Ra Richard, writer. You must have laughed at least once. Chuckled at least. Alright, fine. Name and job. Lucas, the programmer. This literally cannot exist without me. Come on in. I'm Danda. I mean, Alex, the Spanish translator. Can I come in? Oh. Damien, I did all the audio. It's a given. And the text box is moving far too quickly. I'm Zidida, Chinese translator. Can I come in? Oh. Tim, creative director. Bit late to apologize, but still, can I come in? Job. Mike, publisher. I also apologize, but hey, can I come in? Sure, you can. Now, here's the problem with all this. Um, they didn't account for you getting through the credits too quickly, and you still have to wait it out until midnight with nothing else to do, except maybe looking at the identikit. But yeah, honestly, it doesn't matter. Now, as you can tell from the title, Obviously, this is not the finale. We still have one love, which I haven't done yet. Yeah, I, uh... I know the basic story of it, but I don't know how the... how it works, you know? But I guess we get to find out together. I mean, obviously I'm gonna be doing some research... ...into how to get through it the best... But, well. Oh boy. This is awkward sitting through this. And there's still a little bit more to show off. You know what? I'm just going to skip ahead till the end. Alright. Closing time. Don't know what you're waiting for. Nobody else is here. Head on inside and enjoy the party. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But we do still have one love. But that's going to have to wait for next time. Like I said, I'm going to do some research into this one. And that's, well, about it. Anyways, with that, if you guys liked what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications when I upload. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.